Hi guys, right, welcome back down to the channel. So, starting a new adventure, as we said in the previous video, and the adventure is here at Tour X. We're gonna do something, we're gonna jump right into this one. We're gonna jump right in here with, with bells and whistles and a diver's helmet and a wetsuit. We're going with the tailor-made QI10 drivers. Now we've got all three heads here, haven't we? Uh, we've, got the we've got the Max, we've got the, the standard, what I would call the gamer driver, pretty much, isn't it? What most people might go into, and we've got this LS version. Nick, what are, you, what are your first thoughts? What are you seeing with these? So this is 2024 TaylorMade's offerings. Um, initially, much better shape than mm. the Stealth, I would say, Rob. I would also say better colouring. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, li I like the colour. I like the colour of the face. I like the markings. Uh, story behind it is forgiveness, yeah. as we know. Well, they tried doing the forgiveness last year and... Yeah. Was that a bit of a pig yeah, in the end? Yeah, Did we, it quite we, we struggled work? a little bit with stealth, if I'm being honest. Um, story's good behind these. Quest for inertia. Yeah. You know, inertia uh, is measurement of, of resistance to twist. So uh, they measure it in 10,000... Uh, um, all the, the technical stuff for it. I, we can't remember off the top of our heads because <laughs> we're new to this kind of jazz. But the idea is that this is 60, 60 times better or 60 times in the creation of the new face that they brought out. So the idea of being into it is that your mishits should be better. Correct. You, you, and, and so you're not going to necessarily spray it all over the show as bad as what it could. You're still going to spray it. Yeah. That's not going to stop that, but yeah. it's not going to be as bad. They've also gone 97%. This is now an infinity crown, isn't it? Yeah. So what you'll see is that on the crown itself, on like the Stealth and the Stealth 2, there's the ridge that runs down the front end and then the crown joined it. Now it's more all the way, so it's 97% all the way across the top of the club head on the crown itself, which I think personally looks so much nicer. Correct, and that's the one with the majority of the technology in it. Yes, is, this is, is the max. max. Yeah. The max, they've added more carbon. The more carbon you add, the lighter it is. Therefore, it gives them the uh, uh, availability to move a little bit of weight, and therefore increase that MOI, which is, of course, forgiveness. Exactly, so the idea will be, if, and we're gonna see this as we're, we're hitting the golf shots, is that the, the standard QI will be probably for but almost any golfer, really, isn't it? You know, anybody could probably go into that one. Yeah, I'm led to believe Rory and Tommy are in this one. They started on the low spin, but they're now in the middle of the road. Uh, in, in theory, low spin, uh, professionals, low handicappers, uh, fast swing speeders, mm. that, that, kind of, that, that kind of category. Then we've got the middle of the road, which can suit everybody. Yep. If it suits Rory, it can certainly suit you and I, Rob. Exactly. And, and then, then, of course, you've got the max. Yep. Maximum forgiveness. This in initially is intended for the guy who needs a bit of help, a bit mm. of forgiveness, and hopefully this will do the trick. And whereas with the Stealth 2, the Max version was more draw bias. Now, this one looks like it could be more draw bias with the waiting tongue, the waiting port at the back, yeah. but not necessarily is going to be the case, is it? No, and I, I like the fact that it doesn't say draw biased on there because mm. his, history will tell us when we're going through a fitting with, with, with certain customers, the minute they get a draw biased club in the hand, they think they're never going to hit it right, mm. you know, and they think the bad shots are going to go miles left. So I like the, it has got some weight in the heel, correct? Um, but I like the fact that it doesn't stipulate that it's a particular draw biased golf club. And shelf appeal, as, as you just saying there about in terms of the first look, I think the shelf appeal looks really, really good aesthetically. Yeah. It, it kind of hits you. It's um, clean. It's clean. I, I don't think there's as much going on as, as, as there was with the stealth. Um, I, like I say, I love the story behind it. There's a bit of blue in here mixed in with the black, but it, I think it's much more subtle than the stealth. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll do a close-up when you put these heads down. You know, for me, the LS is a, a beautiful pear-shaped driver, and then it gradually gets bigger to the eye as we get across to the max. And still 460. Still that, That's the thing, you know, the, the, yeah. it looks bigger. The clubs start to look bigger as they go up in, or, or go for more of the game improvement, if you want to look at that way. Yeah. But they're still 1060, which is amazing how the yeah. optical illusion has been done and where the actual technology has yeah. been able to be dispersed. And 460 is the max. I'm, exactly. I'm led to believe we can't go yeah. any bigger than that. Nothing so that, that's as big as we can go. And also, well, TaylorMade also still brought out as well, where you can custom the TaylorMade heads as well. So you can change the design. You can change, well, not the, not the design, but you can change the colouring. You can. So you can actually then yeah. custom fit that for yourself. So if yeah. you've got uh, sports allegiances where you don't like blue, I know a lot of people don't. Fraz, for example, <laughs> our friend from Club Champion, he will not hit anything. If it was a green face, it would have to be blue as a Glasgow Rangers fan. So if you've got 
you know, biases to anything, but you can have a particular colour, which is great. So you can really customise it for that. So in a boat wonders fan, I used to love the white drivers. The white drivers, they, yes. they were great. Yes. Still got twist face. We must remember that. Yeah. Twist face is still 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 part of the um, ongoing story with TaylorMade. And that's the thing with it being you know the six percent greater and how they've increased that. The twist face should be actually more. Um, more able to dock to the bad shots. Correct. Should be giving that bit yeah. more assistance with that hope. And, and it's available in, in the usual lofts. You know, we get some low lofts in the low spin. We've got, I think, from eight degrees to ten and a half degrees. Um, in, the, in the two two other models, we, we've got, I think, nine degrees up to 12 degrees. And we've still got the same loft sleeve. So we can still do the same amount yeah. of, of, of alterations. So it's, it's a four degree bias and you can go Correct. two degrees up and two degrees down Correct. on all the heads. Yeah. And, and, and of course, that will affect face angle you know when we de-loft it you know it slightly opens the face and vice versa we had a bit of loft we've, we've got a factor in that it does tow in a little bit now the slightly interesting thing which we'll show when we're actually doing the, the video shortly is the max actually is a quarter or three quarters of an inch slightly short when the shaft goes in because of the design on the actual neck yeah so you that can, you can see that when, when we put those side by yeah, side pull you can side see that side. the, the holes, a holes will depth is slightly different so that again a shorter shaft Technically, he said yeah. the shaft's like the same length, but it just goes in further into the club. Yeah. Actually, should help with a bit of forgiveness, but we'll see that as we're hitting the shots. And again, even something as simple as that, just by making the hose a touch smaller, it's going to be a little bit lighter. Yeah. It means that they can distribute that well weight in, in other places. So, in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit 10 shots with each, and, and we're going to do some baselines with that and just see initial thoughts, initial reactions. How does it look? In a future video, we might decide to tweak it around and do a full custom fit on it. Yeah. That, that would say, and that way yeah. people can get an idea about just how much these things can help based on the stock shafts that there are and what we're going to be doing. Correct. I think, you know, I, I know known Rob a long time now, so 10 and a half degree driver, I know the kind of shafts that Rob would normally benefit from. His current gamer is a Cobra driver. So we're going to set these up similar to his gamer, see how we go. And then in the future vi video, you know, can we improve that? Yeah. You know, by putting a, a, a slightly more advanced shaft in there or an exotic shaft, however we want to uh, pronounce it, you know, can, can we gain anything extra by, yeah. by you know, can, can we dial it in, so to speak? What can we push out of this a little bit more where we yeah. can still get the distance or we can still get the dispersion, the holy grail for every golfer, I think. Correct. Right. We're using Trapman and RCT balls. So this is going to be as accurate as it gets. Perfect. Right. So let's crack on. Let's get into it. Right, so here we go. We've got the QI10. We've got it in Aventus Blue TR5 stiff. Is that Co right, Nick? Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that, that's pretty, you know, that, that's the stock shaft that TaylorMade are providing for majority of the retailers. Um, and then, of course, you're going to get fitted. You, you, you'll swap it about a bit more, but that's yeah. the standard one as it stands. And it's not too dissimilar to your current Gamer. No. Your current Gamer is a Fuji Cura Atmos Blue. So similar launch and spin characteristics. Yeah. Same weight, same flex. And this one will come in a, a regular and also a, a, an A flex as well, doesn't Correct. it? Correct. A flex is senior. Yeah. Regular and, and stiff. And this shaft is then specifically for like a mid-launch high spin. And then there's a Diamana shaft. Which, uh, which is the T plus, which is for the, the, a neutral flight, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Should, the the Diamana shaft should bring your launch and your spin down just a fraction, just yeah. a, just a fraction. That'd be yes. good. Right. So let's do initial hit, and then we'll do ten after this and see how it goes. And what oh. do you think of it over the ball, Rob? Looking at it from, from you know what, I think it's a really good looking golf club. Yeah. I really, really do. Um, it's it's the the kind of tailor made shape that I expect from what's come out recently, yeah. since the sim. Yeah. Uh, but I just like the fact of, you're not seeing that seam at the front end, yeah. uh, where, where, the, you know, where the crown meets the face overlap. Yeah. Uh, I think that looks so much neater. Um, it, it's, and I'm not also as well, the, the port at the back isn't visible. Yeah. Oh, granted, this is just the, the Q, the, you know, just, just the, the QI10 version. It's yeah. not the Max or anything like that. But and the chrome kind of rolls into the face, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's not offensive. It's not, it, it doesn't jump at you. It just, it's just subtle. It's still not quite a, um, a classic design. Yeah. It's not a teardrop design or anything like that. No. Or, or, you know, yeah. But it still looks good. Correct. And I, I like think that. when you get to the low spin option, that's that's not dissimilar to the. T I would say the Titleist is is the most traditional out there yes. at the moment. Yes. I, I think the the low spin head gets get gets on on a power. Gets with that. there with that. Well, we'll soon see that. In a right. So, come on. Let's do ten shots. 
Oh, hold on to your seats, guys. This, 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 hold on to your hats. This could be interesting. No pressure. Eight years since the last on a test. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. Great shot. Oh, and I'll tell you what. All right. It's pushed a bit. But that's... The sound off it is not what I expected. Yeah, sound was good. Sound was good. And don't forget the acoustics. You, you know, we're in a four-walled room here, aren't we? Yeah, the, the sound is not, not what I expected. Right, let's, uh, let's hit the rest and see if we can improve on that one. Yeah, good hit. Yeah, good effort. Sounded really solid. That did, didn't it? Yeah. That was much more middled. Yeah, good. Nice. Right, so last one. Let's see what we've got out of this one. Well, wasn't the best on the distance, was it, Nick? Um, I, I think there's a mixed bag there, Rob, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, we've got to factor in, it's January, we're not playing much golf. You, you know, you're also uh, feeling it. I can see you panting <laughs> after 10, 10, 10 big panting. swings with the driver. I'm out of fitness, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm properly out of fitness. That, that, that's to be, uh, that's to, be to, to be sorted that soon. That's, that's another video. That's a whole different, that's a whole different <laughs> series, is that one. That, that's the, yeah, the, the, the life and times of pottery strength. Yeah. Um, but initial thoughts initial thoughts you know what it's a nice driver um, I think off the face over recent years I couldn't feel the golf ball off the face of the uh, of, of the telemade drivers yeah and um, I could feel strikes on this there's no I, I knew there's a few where I hit them a little bit necky a little bit high I mean one or two had more neck than a giraffe uh, I, a few that are more tall than a camel um, <laughs> and twist face Possibly, it's hard, it's hard to do the comparable without purposely trying to hit it all over the face. But without setting it against maybe my standard driver, it would be difficult to know how much has Twist Face helped it yeah. to, to do what it needs to do. Um, so that'll be an interesting one going forward now. So I think... I think when you have a look at the results, you'll be quite surprised. We've hit some good shots with that. Yeah. You know, and you've got maximum efficiency, uh, you, you know, and I don't think strike location was... Particularly bad, you know, they're your first 10 shots of the day. Yeah. Be interesting to see if the max can give you a little bit more now. Yeah, that's true. Let's, let's go into the max then and let's just then see how forgiving a max driver could actually be for the likes of me. That shorter shaft. Um, better, you know, the, the, is that 60 times twist face helping that bit more? Let's find out. Let's have a look. Right, let's get into that next one. Right, so now into the max. Um, should be more forgiving. Should be more forgiving. This is the one that the, the story is all about. Should 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 be more forgiving, um, Rob. Yeah. No. S less resistance to twist. Yeah. So you know, if you hit a toey one and you was to slow it down in, in slow motion, normally the the, the face would open. Mm. In this, it, it opens less, and vice versa with heel. In fact, all four uh, 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 dimensions, it it. it it resists less. Excellent. So that's, that's so for anybody who does hit it all over the face. And I think we're all guilty of that at some point in time, aren't yeah. we? It should up Now, for me, although the last set of stuff I've just hit might not show that, but for me, I use Arcos. Uh, and my driving, distance-wise, isn't the best. But dispersion-wise, I'm a seven handicap golfer on the World Handicap System. I am 50% of fairways in regulation hit. That's 1% down from a scratch golfer. Yeah. And I've only got a 15 yard dispersion on average with my drives. Yeah. So I'm quite a tight 
yeah. tight, tidy driver of a golf ball. You're efficient. You, yeah. I would say your driver stats are very efficient. You, you hit a lot of fairways. So in terms of now, how much could this improve me? Slightly shorter shaft. Well, yeah. Same length shaft, but in the hosel makes the actual it makes the shaft shorter. Correct. By three quarters of an inch. Yeah. So this, in theory, could help me out a little bit more. Yeah, my pat here, Robert, you, you, you know this. I, I, the lot of the manufacturers build these drivers to, to quite a long length. Mm. You know, I like 45 inches. Down here at Torex, we would class 45 as our standard. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're not prone to going a little bit shorter or a fraction longer. But 45 and three quarters, I think he's getting a little bit on the long side. So I think 45 inches, this could be a blessing. And no disrespect to TaylorMade, but they were guilty of that with the Aero Burner, weren't yeah. they? Because they brought out the yeah. Aero Burner and the SLDRS out at pretty much the same time. Yeah. And the Aero Burner shaft was longer as standard than what like the SLDR yeah. uh, driver head was as well, wasn't it? And it was notably different. Yeah, we've, so, done, we've done many, many exercises and I still believe it's a myth that you're going to hit it further with a, with a longer shaft. Uh, I know in theory, the odd shot you, you, you might catch out of the middle, it may go a fraction further, but certainly over a series of shots and when you work out the percentage, shorter shaft, gaining more control, more centre strikes, definitely long term as an average would go further. So do you think, my that, opinion. The, so do you think that, that this actually could, probably might not lose a bit of length? I, I don't think this will lose any length whatsoever, no. That'd be really interesting to find out. Right, yep. so let's go and hit some 10 shots and let's see Give it a go. the reaction of it. So looking down at this now, Nick, the head shape has changed. Yeah. It's more of a classic head shape for me. Yeah. I, I, I prefer this look. The, the, it's interesting. It, 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 you get the appearance of it looking bigger though, Rob, yeah. don't you? You'd be convinced that it was bigger than the, the, yeah. than the standard. W without a doubt. And in terms of, if you're looking like this is more of a standard head shape, whereas with the QI10, the mass for me is more directionally up and right. Yeah. Whereas this is just more of, it's, it's, it's almost like looking like a slightly elongated moon crest yeah, shape. Yeah. That's such a random analogy, that. Uh, but that's how it looks to me. And vi visually, aesthetically, this looks nicer. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it, this really does look nicer, which for a lot of people, that's confident. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you wouldn't necessarily go and buy a car that you don't like the look of. <laughs> anyway, let's go and hit some shots. Ten shots. Let's see what the initial reaction is off this first one. Again, the noise is just so much, it's so nice. It's nice compared to previous generations, isn't it? Yes. It's not as loud, it's not as tinny. No, I mean, I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry, I'm bending down, I'm talking there. Don't get me wrong. I do like the, I, I like the 90s drivers that you hit it and you know you hit it. Almost like a window smashing sometimes. I do like, I like a screamer. Uh, <laughs> that's what I like. But... The, the, the noise, the acoustic on this, I know it's indoors, and so you're not necessarily going to get the reverberation the same, but it sounds nice. It does sound nice. And to be fair, that, that was all right. Now then, that is so far right, it's a postcode. <laughs> now there's not a lot twist face can do for an open face, is there? <laughs> that, that, so in, in that regard... There is a limit. To, to, to just how much forgiveness we can get. Yes, there is, there is. Yeah. So that, that in all fairness. That was a path to the right with an open face. So that, yeah. that, 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 that was almost unavoidable. Much better, Rob. Now that could be a bit left. Not disastrous. No. That was... That's an interesting one, isn't it? You know, yeah. that, that was slightly high on the face. Um, face to path was a little bit closed there, three degrees, and yet it's not veered much offline. Oh, no, that was very, very healy. That, that, that felt like it was right off the heel. It was out, out of the heel. Uh, again, I can show you that. It was a, it was a, a, a heel strike. Um, smash has dropped, ball speed has dropped. Would have caught the edge of the fairway. Um, don't always see good gear effect indoors. It's one of the slight downsides to, to, to trap man indoors. 
Whether that would have cut back a little bit to target line, I'm not sure, Rob, but it mm. was definitely a heel strike. Yeah. Um, but again, not disastrous. Solid. Good. Nice. Yeah, but they're still going to catch a fairway. But I don't know. Does it does it create that bit more forgiveness, or through poor swing had I pushed its boundaries? Yeah, good good question. I think we'll have to have a look at the stats. Uh, initial uh, thoughts for me, looking without looking at the stats, I thought you got better results out of the what we would class as the, the standard. standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, th I, th I think so. Um, Good, good, good to check the results on this though, because I don't think that was your best no. um, set of ten shots, Rob. No, I, I, the comparable will be a very interesting one to do. Um, I like, I like the look of the head and everything like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Rob was just saying you prefer the shape of that, Rob. Yeah, don't I prefer you? the shape of the head without a shadow of a doubt. I, I do, I do prefer the, the shape of the head. Um, I just, I don't know. Was I expecting more forgiveness through miss it shots? I'd been this max in the big hoo-ha about 10k yeah. or again you know there's a glass ceiling and depending on where you hit that glass ceiling is how bad is it going to shatter and have I hit a point to it where I shattered it completely yeah that would be interesting just see how it's going to go into the results but let's go into now the club that shouldn't suit me and go into the LS Correct. This is a club we wouldn't normally give you through no. a fitting process. Um, but, you know, proof's in the pudding. Let's get it out. Let's give it a go. I've got to say, in all, in all fairness with everything like that, it, it probably wouldn't, wouldn't suit me. But we've got a surprise for you. We're going to get into dust off his, uh, dust off his gloves. <laughs> He's going to hit five shots as well because he swings it faster than me. Only let's, just. Let's get into that one then. Right, okay. crack on. So then... The club that I shouldn't be able to hit. So we've gone into the QI10 LS. Now, this is for faster swing speeds. And as you all know, who's seen me on Rich Channel in the past and seen me swinging it today, I swing like an asthmatic tortoise. And in between cuts, <laughs> I've actually trimmed my beard. Um, so <laughs> this, this really shouldn't suit me in any shape, way or form. Now, we've got it in a nine degree head. Because that's what you, you generally... Yeah, we'd normally associate this with a little bit of a, a lesser lofted player. You, you know, stronger swing speeders normally want to bring the, the launch down a little bit. So you'd associate this with a, with a, with a lower loft, certainly, than the, the, than the other two models. So I should be expecting now probably less peak height... Yeah, I think if this does what it says on the tin, this should come off um, certainly a little bit flatter. Uh, um, spinning a little bit less, maybe drop out of the sky for you, Rick. I, I, I don't know, but uh, we're going to stick with the same shaft. So everything about it is going to be the same. Um, just a little bit less loft, lower spinning head. Let's give it a go. Now I'm going to hit five. I'm getting the big man here to hit five as well, because this should fit more into his window than my window. So it gives you another sense as well as to how the better player would probably control this better. What I do like about this one, Nick, and I just want to, want to state this, is when you're looking at all the other tailor-made drivers that they've had since, you know, even since R15s, uh, earlier than that as well, with, with the sliding weights. Um, it's been reduced bias, now, has it? has been reduced significantly, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Now, I've never been a big fan with, with, with the sliding uh, bias for draw and fades. I've never been a big fan of that, as, you, as you'd know in the past. So I think it's too much for idiots like me to tamper with yeah whereas a fitter would know what to put it in and i like this one that is it shrunk even further um and actually looks more discreet yeah it does it's more it's definitely more subtle still does the trick though we can still move that weight a little bit more towards a heel or toe 
just to, to create a little bit of draw or fade bias. And that's something that we might touch base on at a future video, I think, as Correct. well. Right. This, this is the head that would interest me, Rob, you know, long before um, facilities like this, if I was just going buying something off the, off the shelf, yeah. this is the head that I would normally choose in that type of loft, a little bit smaller, a little bit more traditional. You know, the feeling of it being a bit deeper yeah. and, and, and certainly that LS behind the numbers would certainly appeal to me. Exactly, yeah. And the thing as well is, that, again, it's still a 460 head. Yeah. That's the thing. That not, none of those head, yeah. head size have changed, but visually... The shape looks the like shape it's different, make, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's an optical illusion. So, right, let's hit these. I'm hitting five. Big one's hitting five. Okay. Now, going back down to the look on this, this is kind of back down to the same shape as the QI-10. Yeah. Um, it's a, where, as I would look at it, it's more pushed to diagonally right, or the mass looks it's further like it's further up that way. Right. Than what the other one does, being more what I would call almost symmetrical. Right. Um, so that this is this is an interesting. So it looks like it's to me it would look like it'd be more tall weighted, but it's probably not. Okay. Um, naturally, but yeah. Right. Here we go. Ten shots. Sounded nice. It did sound nice, didn't it? Yeah, good effort. That's that's not done bad at all. Yeah, has no, it? It, very very good. Don't question yourself, Rob. You're oh. good enough to use any of these. That's the great thing about custom fit, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit of trial and error. Come down and give them a go. Good again. Certainly dropped the spin, Rob, hasn't it? It has, hasn't it? Yeah, might go a fraction left, so that'll be interesting to see. Will it go? No, no, good shot. Now, if anything, that... Looks a flatter flight, Rob, doesn't it? It does look a flatter flight, yeah. 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 It, it looks like it's definitely doing what it says it wants to do. Good. Very good. And that felt good. Yeah, maybe shot of the day. Oh, it's slightly higher on the head. Yeah, that didn't perform as good. Right, so, that's my five. You reckon you can do it? Well, I'll get all my excuses in now, Rob. My season only starts normally about April time, when we see the Masters on TV. Um, I know we have this facility here. I don't take any shots, but I'm more than happy to give this a go. Definitely. I think it needs to be done. Right, guys, five shots with the big man. Let's have it. Are you feeling, Nick? Bit nervous, if I'm being honest with you, Rob. Welcome that, to YouTube, that, mate. That, that, uh, that wall doesn't look like look too far away. Initial thoughts: I, I love the shape. Yeah, I, I, I really do. Believe it or not, I've got all this technology around me. I use a, um, an M3 head, but it's one of the more compact ones, and I like it. it it's something I've not not managed to change over the years. Um, this interests me, though. Um, so I'm going to give it a blast. Well, I mean, come on, how long was Tiger in the M2 for? <laughs> yeah, that's true. He was true. in there for a long time, wasn't yeah. he? So, you know, you're definitely up there with the best, mate. Justin Rose is still using some old technology as well, so... He is indeed. Who knows? Good job nobody sat on that patio, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a four right. <laughs> wasn't a shank of the driver, though. What's your initial thoughts from, from hitting? I know, bear in mind, bear in mind, guys, this is Nick's first shot of, of the day. Yes. Pretty I, much of the year. Um, I, I, I like it. I've got to be honest, Robert, I, I like it. You know, obviously it's not got my setup of shaft and normally I'd have a little bit more, uh, less loft. Um, I don't like seeing the ball go left. My bad shot historically is left, Rob. Right. So normally I like to see the, the, the head sit slightly open. Um, but obviously, I'm, I'm going to try and adapt best I can to this, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll get a bit better than that. But um, let's give it a go. That sounds a good try. And that's gone out right too, Rob. I was better. I was definitely better. I was a little bit better. Just there drawing back go. in the middle. Yeah. So, let's see if we can, uh, um, let's see if we can get one. Last shot of the day. 
Might be the last shot for a few months for me. <laughs> no. Trying too hard. So with that one, you've, you've actually caught it out the heel. Yeah. I was going after that, Rob. Yeah. I've, I've got to be honest with you, just trying to finish on a, on a, on a, on a good one. Um, I have nothing to hide. My shots are all over the show there. I did catch one out of the middle. Rob's caught me by surprise today. I didn't expect to be hitting this today. Um, so maybe I'll do a little bit of practice before next weekend's video. And that's definitely a big whoopsie on my part there, isn't it, mate? I, I, I kind of threw him. By the way, I want you to wait for a couple of shots today. Don't worry, Rob. I'll remember that. I'll remember that. I'm going to get battered for this one. So let's go and dive into some numbers then. And let's just see how everything all stacks up, shall we? Perfect. Right, let's have a look. Okay, Rob. So we're, now we're into the results. So, so we're going to have a little look, see how all these uh, clubs have panned out. Um, I would say first thing to do is let's have a look at strike location. So strike location on your current driver, uh, uh, sorry, strike location on the first driver is uh, relatively good, fraction high off the face, but they were your first shots of the day. And also we're using a T, which might be a fraction on the high side. Um, so that was the normal, what we class as the standard QI-10. Uh, the max, very similar. Heat map is almost in the same spot. Doesn't seem to be any, any particular difference there. Then we move to the low spin head. Um, hit less shots with this, Rob. So, so your heat map is, again, everything slightly high of the centre line. And then, of course, just out of interest, we'll put mine on there. My, my heat map was a little bit lower. Um, not necessarily any better when we come to that. OK, so now we go over and we have a little look at uh, how these clubs have compared. So we're going to create an average. And these are the three clubs that we've got here, Rob. So, you, you know, we've started with um, QI-10, 93 miles an hour club speed. That club speed's not really changed through all three models for you. So round about the same average. That's interesting, shorter shaft in this, in this model here. So we have seen a drop of half a mile an hour. N not enough to worry about. A ball speed, this is the interesting one. 136 with the, with, the, with, the, with the standard, 136 with the max, 135 with the low spin. So not a, not a particular drop at all in, in ball speed. Efficiency is good. Your efficiency is always good, Rob. Um, smash factor is ball speed divided by club speed. A good number is somewhere between 1.45 and 1.50. Uh, so all of those shots would be efficient. And then, of course, we come to the crunch. We look at the end results, don't we? How far are these go balls going? You know, is there any gains, etc.? cetera? Um, well, they're all carrying about the same distance, Rob. Don't forget, this is an average. So your better shots and your worst shots are all in here. We haven't deleted anything. We haven't eliminated anything. Um, and we get 215 uh, carry distance with the low spin and peaking out with 219 with the standard. Um, very interesting, everything has done exactly as it said on the, on the tin with regards to spin. Um, we, we've got um, higher spin out of the max, 2.8 would be your, your, your average, 2.4 with the standard and then 1,800 with the low spin. So the low spin does look like it's dropped out of the air a little bit. But if we're playing on a Lynx or a firm, fast environment, then obviously it, you, you get a little bit more roll out of it. And then we'll introduce some dispersion. That's, that, that's the early shots there that you hit with the, with the standard head. And then we can co incorporate all the others. Um, so the white one there, the white circle, Rob, that's the uh, standard head. Orange circle was the max, which is very interesting because we was under the impression that the max would be a bit more forgiving and therefore might have been a little bit tighter the, to that centre line. The blue one. That's the low spin. So I think the blue one's done great for you, um, regardless of whether or not we thought it was a good option for you b before we started. Low spin has obviously held its line. It's gone very, very close to the centre line and certainly the tightest dispersion. It's got the, the smallest ring around it. The big red circle, unfortunately, that, that is mine, Rob. I, 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 you know, you've caught me unawares today, so I've had a few shots, nothing to hide. 
nothing special from me. Uh, that, that, that club speed's down a little bit. Ball speed's down. Um, my spin's nice and low. Um, but plenty miss hits in there. I did manage to catch one for you, Rob, which is this shot here. So if we have a look on, on, on the, that, that's something a little bit more like what I would expect. It is a little bit super low on the spin. Um, so that's something I would have to give some thought to. Uh, strike location on that, my better shot was good. And these are some of my swing credentials. So I swung five degrees into out, six degrees up on it. And obviously not a lot of loft. So the spin loft was on the low side, hence a little bit low spin. Bear in mind though, that LS driver, the head, so the shaft wasn't the shaft that you would normally gain. That was the stock shaft that they, that they provide yeah. uh, within, within the fitting uh, parameter, isn't it? With, with, for for yeah. the, the retail stockists, yeah. uh, as, a, as a rule for just like, let's have a play with that one and see how you go with it. Yeah. So on all things considered, I don't think that's been too bad at all, has it? No, like I say, I, I, I mean, my, my game, I'd like to think will get a little bit better than that over the next few months. Um, I think it's been an interesting exercise, Rob. I think the surprise candidate there is definitely the low spin head. It's probably surprised you and, and it surprised me. I think you can never underestimate the, the, the importance of custom fit. There's a little bit of trial and error. You know, you wouldn't have walked into a, a golf store and, and picked that one off the shelf and necessarily bought it. Um, but I think it will probably whet your appetite to come back and do some more with. You know, I think if we could get the lo launch up a little bit in that low spin um, and keep the dispersion as tight as it is, I think it'll give the two other heads a good run for its money. Right, so that's the data set and the number crunching done, and that's the hitting of the done. I'm actually quite glad about that. I'm knackered. Um, I've not really hit this driver particularly well, not in terms of the driver heads not performed for me, but I've not hit that driver head well today, um, just with my own swing. I'm struggling with my driver at the moment. Sorry, guys, I put him right in the spot saying, by the way, you're getting on camera whether you like it or you don't, and you're hitting shots. He was like, no, what? <laughs> so, again, we put him on the spot there. Nick, you, you, my, my, my heartfelt apologies. Listen, I only caught one, but, I, that, you know, that is the real me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an average golfer at best, you know. Driving is normally a strong, strong part of my game. And it's my strong part of the game as well, which you wouldn't necessarily think so. But I think there's room here for more, isn't there? Definitely. Uh, I think as a first initial look and a first initial test of just taking it off the, off the shelf and going hitting it, which, frankly, many golfers, many amateur golfers will do that, won't they? They'll just go yeah. into a retail store, take it off the shelf, hit it with whatever the stock shaft might be, not really have time for a fit and go, yeah, and some people might just buy it straight off the shelf of what they've just seen because they've yeah. seen Rory hitting it, Tom yeah. hitting it, they've seen Tiger, whoever. Yeah. And they might just go and do that. But I think we've got traction here for delving deeper into each of these heads on a custom fit, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, th I, think, I think I couldn't agree more. I, d I don't think there's any need to go into a store these days, guess at the right loft, guess at the shaft, you know, and then hope that you, you can set it up and, and make the most out of it. I, I think you should go through some kind of a, a fitting procedure and certainly eliminate anything that we think would be not right or not suitable for you. Yeah. And hopefully this has wet the appetite. So like I say, I think we could come back and let's, uh, let's give it... I, I wouldn't rule out any of the three heads for you, Rob. Even the low spin. The so that, that low spin was a surprise, yeah, puppy. Yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it was the tightest dispersion of the lot. I mean, what, what, what's that about? Yeah. Granted, I've probably hit more shots at that point, but that should never have been a head that would suit me. I think what we've probably learned in this video, Rob, is you might suit the low spin and I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Did they do a, a max triple? <laughs> max senior. Uh, no offence, I am so dead for that one. Uh, guys, thank you so much for, for, for taking the time. This is the first video that us two have done as a partnership. We're hoping we're, we're going to do some more, aren't we? Yeah, um, definitely. And, and I think this would be something that's going to be a good side of just uh, me, everyday, normal, average golfer, golf nerd, um, sees the game with the expertise of a master club fitter and a master club builder. And I think the dynamic can work. Um, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've liked, please give this a subscribe and follow. Give, give my channel a subscribe and follow. But please, please, please follow Torex Golf.
on Instagram. I'll put all the links and descriptions into the into the, the bio. Please follow Nick. Uh, and and he's, he's hoping to try and get some more stuff part on his Instagram channels and stuff like that. But just give the guy some love because what they do here is amazing. It's a treasure trove of goodness and it's independent. They, they've not got any overheads with anybody else. There's no bias towards anything. The numbers tell you what you should have. Uh, so please, please, please give him a like and a follow. More things to come. We might even get the old boy on the course this year. You never know. Yeah, I might bring out a Zimmer with him as well. But we'll get him out on the course. A buggy at least. A buggy and beers, I'll be a there. Buggy and beers. There you go. Buggy and beers. Bang, we've just got ourselves a video. Right, all the best, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There are going to be some more. I think we've got much more stuff we can do with this particular club to see what more can we can max out of it. And then we can start looking at some other clubs as well. All the best, guys. Take care. See you soon.